ATF inquiry 2359826, interview with Boyd Crowder. All right, and it was during that conversation that Kyle made his first threats against yourself and Mrs. Crowder. Miss Crowder. Against yourself and Ms. Crowder. I believe we've already waded through these waters. Tell us again. They showed up at the house, said they were going to rob the mine, said they needed a powder man, said if I didn't go along, they'd put me and Ava in the ground. So you never actually heard Kyle make these threats? Like I said, I was already gone to work. Meaning Boyd told you what Kyle said, just like Boyd told you that morning was the first time he heard about the plan to rob the mine. And it's not possible that he lied. Why would I lie? Because if you can prove you were coerced, couldn't call the police out of fear for your life, then you're not criminally responsible. I think we're all growing tired of this Babe in the Woods act. So I want you to tell us right now where the rest of the money I is. I it burn up. Some of it burned up. Miss Crowder, do you realize that we could charge you with felony murder? Felony murder? Was that like hot lava or frozen ice? No, ma'am, felony murder means if you knew the crime was going to be committed, even if you didn't know anyone was going to die, you're just as guilty as if you pulled the trigger. After everything your brother put her through, you really going to let her spend the rest of her life in prison for you? You know, I was just wondering, did she screw all your relatives or just you two? Now, sir, I know you have an investigation to conduct, but if you disrespect Ava one more time, I'm going to come across this table. Chief, it seems clear to me that Mr. Crowder just threatened a federal officer. And I would think that that is reason enough for you to take him into custody. Much as I might like to personally throw Mr. Crowder's ass in a holding cell, I think a threat against a federal officer would be a little more specific. Something more along the lines of, if you disrespect Ms. Crowder again, I'll beat the ever-loving shit out of you. You gonna charge me? How is it possible you're not in cuffs? Well, when someone's threatening a woman that you care deeply for, there's no end to the lengths that you will go to keep that woman safe. Now, I seem to recall you being in that situation a time or two yourself. In fact, I seem to recall you being in the same situation with the same woman. Ain't that something? Tell me what you did, Gary. I am trying to tell you what I did. If you could just give me five minutes no, to listen to me. No, don't try to tell me what you did. Just tell me what you did. You don't you even did. listen to me anyway. I'm trying to find a legitimate way for us to get out of this oh, hole I that we're in. This. You Where are you tell going? Me I'm leaving. Oh, you just wait five minutes and let me talk to you instead of getting mad all the time? Then talk to me, Gary. I'm trying to tell you what I did, all right? Did you put up our house as collateral for a goddamn horse? It is a champion Arabian one. Only you're not listening to a damn thing I've after said. After everything that has happened, everything, Gary, after everything that has happened, you did that and you didn't talk to me about it? Well, where do I find you, Winona? Where do I find you? That's, huh? that's enough. What? Oh, you're going to walk out yeah, now? I, you haven't even looked at this, all right? I worked on... Winona! 